How's it going, guys? So if you follow me on Twitter, um, the other day I tweeted out something and retweeted something that a lot of people saw, and I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, you really should, because sometimes important stuff does happen there. Um, what happened was, is that if you don't know what's going on in the United States right now, there's a huge hot topic about video games um, causing violence and causing people to be more violent, especially teenagers and, and males and that sort of thing, and a lot more heat is being sort of given to video games, again, um, based on recent mass uh, violent situations that have been happening and it's been getting a lot of uh, exposure on news networks and whatnot, and uh, it's, it's not fun stuff, but pretty much what's happening. Someone tweeted me a link the other day where uh, CNN had a segment with one of their discussions slash debates on video game stuff. Once again, um, on whether or not it does cause people to be more violent and does train people to kill people and, and whatnot and that sort of thing. And the funny thing was is that they used a couple of YouTubers' footage. And I don't know who the other one or other people uh, that they used were, but one of them was me. It was it was my Grand Theft Auto uh, 3 thing. It was, a, it was a pretty unique situation in which the AI driver of a van kept driving into a wall and not only was it uploaded um, in the series of Grand Theft Auto 3, it was also uploaded as its own video. So I'm sure quite a few of you know what I'm talking about. Um, it was when the van had, like, almost all the damage, and it was about to blow up, and he kept driving into a wall, and he wouldn't go into the garage, and I was getting really mad. So in the video during that segment, they were talking about how uh, Grand Theft Auto kind of promotes um, killing prostitutes for points, which isn't really true. You don't really get points for killing prostitutes. And then they had that footage, which was odd because it, it was in no way related to what they were talking about. I don't know if they just wanted footage from the game, which they probably just had someone, you know, YouTube uh, a decently viewed video on Grand Theft Auto, and it just so happened to be mine. That's probably on um, one of the first few pages of whatever they searched, and um, it was kind of funny. This video is not actually me bitching about them using the footage because I don't care, and as far as I know, it's not illegal. So a lot of people were, you know, saying, "Oh, you should sue them." Well, it's kind of petty to sue over, and I don't think I have legal grounds anyway if I wanted to. But I just wanted to talk a little bit on the subject because it's such a hot issue apparently right now that a lot of people are saying, you know, these games are, are training people and children and teenagers to go out and shoot people. And, you know, if you play Halo, you'll know how to shoot a gun, and you'll want to do it, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm sure a lot of us have heard stuff like that, but it was just kind of funny because it, it sparked my interest in talking about it because they used my footage. They probably didn't know who it was. They didn't know that, you know, I'm a, I'm a decent-sized YouTuber who, who does commentary over video games, and I have a decent following, and that more likely than not, that was going to get back to me. And, as you know, I'm probably not for that. I'm, I'm usually not for saying, okay, video games is causing all of these people to go nuts and go out and shoot people and stab people and want to kill people and whatnot. I'm sure over the history, um, there are a, a couple cases where that is true, where someone played a game and they wanted to go ahead and do stuff like that. But what about movies? What about television? What about music? What about, you know... Uh, different sort of plays and stuff, you know, any any form of entertainment, sure, entertainment where you have some sort of violence and someone sees it, I'm sure someone's going to go, that might be a good idea, which it's not, actually, by the way, but for the most part, I don't think people are going to think like that. I'll use myself as, a, as an example because uh, I think it's a pretty decent example, and I don't have anyone else to use an example other than, you know, other friends, but I play games a lot. And you guys probably know that, because if you watch the channel, you would see that I have a lot of videos. I upload, you know, m several videos on a daily basis and whatnot. So I play a lot of a lot of games. I play a lot of different games. I play violent games, non-violent games, you know, car games, a couple of those, uh, a couple puzzle games. Mario, I play Mario. So I pretty much, you know, ping pong between a lot of different stuff. But, you know, I've been playing these games since I was, you know, really young. You know, I started out on Mario, and probably the first... Maybe Mortal Kombat, I guess, if you want to call that. That was a huge deal back in the day. Um, in the early 90s, parents were protesting that, saying, you know, it's way too violent, but, which by now, Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo or Sega is laughable, but that's what they were protesting back then. But I've played, you know, Grand Theft Auto. I've played Call of Duty, first-person shooters and whatnot. 
And guess what? I don't have a criminal record. I've never been in jail. The only time I've gone to a police station were acts taken out on me or I was a witness of something, something like that. So as far as I know, I have no criminal record. I've never assaulted anyone. I've never shot anyone. I've never even fired a gun, um, you know, stuff like that. I don't, I don't have any violent history. Um, and I've been, I've been playing, you know, violent games for years and years. The difference is, is that I knew at a very young age, the difference between something that was fake and something that was real, between, you know, running over someone in GTA and shooting someone in real life. I knew the difference very early on, and my parents made sure I knew that difference before buying anything for me, because I wanted to make sure that I knew the difference that, okay, this is, you know, if you do this in the, in the real world, that's wrong, you're going to get in a lot of trouble, and it's really dumb, and you shouldn't do it, and, you know, if you do it in this game, you know, it's fine, you know, it's a game, it's fake, real fake, you know, you know, you get it, right? Most people get it. Um, unfortunately, they blame a lot of stuff now on games because it's interactive. You know, they think it's like a training simulator somehow. I don't, I don't know how. A uh, funny story. I've played pay paintball once. Um, a couple summers ago, I went to a paintball event near Chicago. Um, I know some of you will probably remember that. Max did a lot of, uh, I don't know if he did a lot of videos, but he did a couple videos on that. I might have done a video on it or so. And not only did I almost shoot myself twice because I don't know how to handle any gun, and that's why I usually I don't go around any gun because I would probably be, you know, an idiot and screw something up, but it was a paintball gun anyway. I almost shot myself twice, and I didn't even hit anyone with a gun. Like, all the FPS games I played offered no training towards firing any sort of gun. Um, which is funny because that's, you know, it's, you play Halo, it's like combat simulator. No, it's at least for me, like, unless I'm the one person where it doesn't help at all, I don't think that game will, will help anyone learn to fire a gun. Like, if someone gave me a gun and was like, okay, reload that, I'd be like, is there, is there like, wh what, how do I reload? Like, this has to come out somehow. Is there like a little button I have to press in to get it to come out and then put, like, I don't know. I don't know any of that stuff. I played so many shooting games and I still don't know. Like, they, they keep blaming video games. And like I said, there's probably a few cases where it actually did contribute. I don't know. I can't say there's never been a case in the history where, you know, this hasn't contributed towards something. But my belief is that if a person's going to play a game and go, that's a good idea, I'm going to run over some people. They already had a problem in the first place. Like, we've had problems as a society since the beginning of society, since the beginning of civilization, since the beginning of man. We've had fights and wars and, and killings before television and movies and video games and electronics and all that stuff. And I don't know why they keep going back to it. It's like video games is kind of the new kid on the block. It's interactive and they're going to they're going to keep attacking it until something happens. And, you know, for the most part, I think it's up to the parents to kind of watch what their children watch and, and watch what they play and try and uh, deal with it as well as they can. But I mean, not everyone's going to grow up the same. Like even if you even if you're a really good parent, your kid may, might still end up being screwed up. Like, sometimes there's just no helping it. And, I mean, I'm sure there's a way to, to kind of limit the stuff that happens and whatnot, but I don't know. It's just, it's hard to uh, continue seeing news segments where they're like, oh yeah, guns, you know, video games are more violent, more, more dangerous than guns. That was what a senator or a congressman or someone said recently. Like, video games are more dangerous than guns. How? I don't, it's like, okay odd job, I'm odd job now, like, throwing discs at people, like, I don't understand, like, how people do that, but I just, I just wanted to touch base on the subject and talk about it a little bit, um, if I, if I remember, I'll link, uh, the other video, the CNN video, if, uh, if I can remember, I'll try to, and I'll probably try to link the GTA video I talked about, but I'm sure a lot of you will, will recognize it and whatnot, because it's, it was a pretty unique thing that happened, so, I, it was just, it's getting a little bit ridiculous that, you know, it's just funny that they used bigger YouTubers' footage and stuff, and people recognized it and were like, hey, yeah, you're featured on CNN because they're talking about video games and how terrible they are and and whatnot. And uh, as I go out, if I, can, if I can quote Ricky Gervais on one thing, just because you're offended doesn't make you right. That's about it. So thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later.